So if you have overripe bananas and you don't know what to do with them, don't throw them out. You can easily make banana cake with them. I'll show you how. So for this, you're going to need vegetable oil, chocolate chip, which is optional, vanilla extract, two eggs, cocoa powder, baking powder, brown sugar. You can use white sugar if you want. Cinnamon, baking soda, salt, milk, and some raisins and flour. Raisins and chocolate chip is quite optional. If you don't have them, that's fine. It's still bang. So I'm just going to mix up all the dry ingredients, the flour with baking powder, baking soda, salt, cocoa powder and mix it very well together in this bowl. I'm doing this because I don't want them um, to add them one after the other. I feel like it just makes properly in a bowl all the dry ingredients and then cinnamon too. Let's not forget cinnamon and then we can add it to the wet ingredients. I'm going to mix this thoroughly. So note, I'm not going to be using electric wicks for this. I'm going to be using my hand and this recipe was still a banger. You don't even need electric wicks for this at all. Please check the description box below for all the accurate measurements I used. So now we're done mixing all the dry ingredients, we're going to mash our bananas in a bowl. I'm using my hand wicks or you can also use a fork or a spoon, whatever rocks your boat. After this, I'm going to go ahead and mix all the wet ingredients in this bowl. So it's time to start mixing our wet ingredients. So the mashed bananas, so we're going to add the eggs and then also add our brown sugar or white sugar i know this is sort of like a dry ingredient but i think it's better to mix it properly with wet ingredients so that the sugar grains can like dilute or something you can also use icing sugar that's easier to like mix properly with other wet ingredients but i think if i was going to use icing sugar i'll just mix it with the rest of my dry ingredients but yeah i'm using brown sugar and i need to mix it properly so i'm adding it here after the sugar is properly mixed, I'm going to add the vegetable oil. So you can use any other oil like granite oil, sunflower oil, any nice oil of your choice. But I'm using vegetable oil. I'll add the milk also and stir. At this point, I'm going to bring our dry ingredients. It's a warm bowl ingredient now because everything has mixed in the bowl. And then I'm going to add it to the wet ingredients and stir. So at this point, with your whisk or your spatula, whatever you're using, but I think it's better to use a whisk. We're going to make sure we're not over stirring this. We're just going to make sure we stir it enough to get the wet and dry ingredients combined. And that's enough. We don't want to overdo this. And then after this, we're going to finally add the vanilla extract. So you can use strawberry extract, chocolate extract, banana extract, any nice extract of your choice. And then mix together for just like 5 seconds or 10 seconds and the batter is ready to go into the oven. I'm pouring this, I'm pouring the butter into the um, cake pan with my spice bowl because I don't want it to overrun. Uh, you could use like a dip spoon or a cup to just sort of like measure it into like the cake fall or the cake um, pan. So at the end of the day, my butter was remaining. I just put the rest in um, a fall um, paper, a cake fall and baked it in there. So. I know I said chocolate banana cupcakes, but for also join that's like extra. It's the same butter, even if you're not going to make it into a cupcake form, if you're just going to make it like cake straight up, the only difference is the pan you're baking it in. That's all. Same butter, same process. So now you can add any topping of choice. I'm adding chocolate chips on some and then I'm adding raisins on some of the cupcakes. If you have Oreos, you can just crush them and add it on top. Biscuit, almond, any topping you really fancy that you know would be nice on the cake you can go on these cupcakes or the fall cake.
so i'm going to be adding water to the pan underneath my rack where i'm going to bake the cake and this is going to help the cake have some sort of moistness whilst baking instead of it coming out all dry these cakes tasted more amazing than they looked you guys everybody that had a bite or two had great things to say about this cake let me know what you think about today's recipe if you liked the fact that we didn't use any electric wicks just our hand wicks any other recipe you want to know about drop it in the comment section i love you